You know what? One of the most significant advantages of two-handed bowling is the room for ball manipulation. In other words, you can control the ball's motion and make it work the way you like to hit the pocket or strike more. If you are interested and want to know this secret, this video is for you. There is more than a way to roll the ball and make it hook. Most newbie bowlers are happy when their balls hit the pocket and trike. But when it doesn't, they are confused and think they must throw it harder. The truth is you don't need to throw harder. You just need to make it roll in a proper way without moving left or right. To do that, you need to understand these two elements. There are two main things that dictate the ball's motion. They are called the axis tilt and axis rotation. Axis tilt is the tilt angle of the ball when it leaves your hands. Axis rotation is defined by the moderation of your fingers moving around the ball. Large axis tilt helps the ball skid more and sharply hook. Smaller axis tilt helps the ball hook sooner with moderate sharpness. Similarly, a larger rotation angle helps the ball skid more and sharply hook and vice versa. Every time you roll the ball out to the lane, you've seated an amount of axis tilt and rotation angle to the ball without knowing this stuff. Magic happens when you become aware of the existence of axis tilt and rotation. You might question if you can control it. The answer is yes, you can. I had another video discussing the science of axis tilt and rotation. You can find the video in the upper right corner of the screen. However, I will show you how to control the axis tilt and rotation in a simpler way that you can use right after watching this video. Let's go with the axis rotation. Axis rotation ranges from 0 to 90 degrees. But in reality, you just use low or high axis rotation. The low axis rotation angle is somewhere around 0 and 45 degrees and more to the 0. The high axis rotation angle is around 45 degrees. Trust me. You don't need over 45 degrees or closer to 90 degrees of axis rotation, even in a league or tournament. In order to achieve the high axis rotation, you don't need to do anything. Let's look at the natural motion of the arm during the release. Your bowling arm and hand will begin to close or move to the side of the ball. If you understand this natural movement, you just need to accelerate the follow-through, matching the natural trajectory of the arm and hand. That's all. Don't try to change this natural movement, and you are done with the high axis rotation. So how about the low axis rotation? Contrary to how you achieve the high axis rotation, in order to achieve the lower axis rotation, you just need to resist the natural movement of the bowling hand and arm during the release. By moving your arm and hand forward and keeping your palm as open as possible, during the follow through, you will successfully achieve the low axis rotation. That's all. Very simple, right? Let's move on to the axis tilt. I've heard many people say that axis tilt is hard to change. It's somehow the DNA of the bowler or their style. Today, I believe that it's not right anymore. You can change it if you wish. The hand position, or how you hold the ball from the beginning till release dictates the ball axis tilt. Let's look at my hands. The white band on the ball demonstrates the tilt of the ball. If I move my bowling hand to the inside of the body, the axis tilt will increase and vice versa. So if you want to increase the axis tilt, you must maintain this hand position from the beginning until release. In order to support this hand position, you just need to adjust the position of the non-bowling hand. Here, for the right-hander, move the non-bowling hand to the right side of the ball and release the ball as usual. The right side here is meant for your view when holding the ball. Without the support of the non-bowling hand, the bowling hand can hardly maintain this position. It will automatically switch back to the outside of the body and immediately decrease the axis tilt. So keeping the hand constantly in this position is necessary if you want to seed a medium to high tilt to the ball. In order to achieve the lower tilt, you just need to adjust the position of bowling hand. You don't need to rotate the bowling hand inward anymore, but keep it in a neutral position. For the non-bowling hand, you just need to keep it at the center of the ball or more the left side if you like, and release the ball as usual. The axis tilt of the ball will dramatically decrease as you wish. In my experience, you should start the game with medium to high axis tilt and adjust it later after adjusting the axis rotation. You can combine axis rotation and tilt adjustment to create the ball motion you like. You just need to know that you are releasing the ball with which kind of axis rotation and tilt. Then look at the ball's reaction on the lane and when it hits the pocket. There are some typical and basic adjustments that you can learn by heart. 
If the ball is hooking too much, hitting the 1 to 2 pocket or Brooklyn, you should decrease axis rotation first, then the tilt if needed. If the ball hits the pocket late, there are two possibilities. First, the ball is skidding too much, mostly seen on the long and high volume oil patterns. Then you might decrease axis rotation first then the tilt if needed to help the ball read the lane sooner or hook sooner. Second, the ball is losing energy too soon and or rolling out. In this case, you might see the ball standing up quicker and rolling out quickly. In other words, the ball is losing its axis tilt and rotation too quickly. That's the sign of too much friction. In some cases, the ball still manages to hit the pocket but leaves a lot of 10 pin. In this case, you need to increase both the tilt and the rotation to make the ball retain more energy when hitting the pocket. You can combine this adjustment with the moving left a little bit if the ball begins to overhook if needed. You must watch your ball down lane carefully to quickly understand the situation and make possible changes on the next shot. This can be applied for sparing the 10 pin with the spare ball. Under a tough oil pattern, I usually delay the hook of the ball by decreasing the axis tilt and rotation. In this way, I can limit the risk of the ball hooking in the last minute before hitting the 10 pin. Very convenient right? Here are some extra tips for dealing with the ball motion when starting a new game on a newly oiled pattern. Phase 1. Start the release with medium to high tilt and 45 degree axis rotation. This ball motion will give you maximum hook potential and carry on the fresh patterns. Actually, you can start your release with this parameter on any lane without knowing its condition. Phase 2. Sooner or later, the carry down would happen, and your ball seems to hook later or more to the 3 pin. Just decrease the tilt and keep the axis rotation at 45 degrees. Your ball will read the lane sooner. Phase 3. Later on, the lane will begin to dry out. The ball will hook more sharply, or even Brooklyn. If you don't want to move left, you should continue to decrease the tilt and the axis rotation. In this way, you can moderate the hook's sharpness and make the ball return to the pocket. Phase 4. Still in Phase 3, in case you leave quite a lot of 10 pins even when you've already lofted the ball, you should begin to move left and start the ball motion again from Phase number 1. Phase 5. In some cases, your ball overhooks or underhooks and its motion is unpredictable. We call that the wet-dry pattern. Let's decrease the tilt to the minimum and keep the axis rotation at 45 degree. Your ball mostly works well and reacts more predictably with this kind of axis tilt and rotation. Learning these tips by heart is not so difficult, though you will need to take some time to practice and remember. Once you've mastered it, you will love this art of ball manipulation. Now, it's time you hit the lanes and try my tips. If it helps improve your game, don't forget to subscribe and give me some comments. Also, like or share this video with your friends if they want to improve. See you in the next video. Until then, enjoy bowling.